so that's the Aggie room. Um, as my business partner, she uh, graduated from North Carolina A uh, and T. Uh, I'm an eagle, so. Okay. <laughs> that's like you room. barely got that out, right? right? Like, uh, uh. So yeah, and then here is, of course, we could not do an HBCU room without, you know, uh, giving honor to FSU. Um, I've had a lot, I got a lot of ties there as well. And wanted to, you know, give them a shout out as well as being another HBCU. So this is the Bronco room. We're going to get some paraphernalia and stuff in here to really give it that, you know, attitude check mark here. Yes. And of course, the yeah, all right. NCCU. <laughs> Product. Of this North one should Carolina say Central. real good. Yes, yeah, hot. North Carolina Central University. I graduated last year, so uh, this is the honor to my room. And then we have the all black room as well. In the State Senator Kirk Devier, I represent District 19 right here in Cumberland County. You're standing in our district just like you're standing in District 2 of, of City Council of Fayetteville that I used to represent as well. Um, but excited to be here today. Look, in the middle of this pandemic, we're opening businesses. We're opening businesses by two amazing women. And look, business, black business matters. Black women own business. Yeah. And I'm telling you, this is an exciting time. Actually, Shaquille and I just came from downtown where there was a march talking about Medicaid expansion, talking about $15 an hour, and talking about what's doing morally right. But what's exciting is to come up here and see two women take it upon themselves to open a business right here across from Fable State University on Markinson Road. So congratulations to you both. But I also want to give a big shout out to Seed. 
because they have been working in this community. And when I say this community, look, I, I'm, I'm going to say this community, in, in the black community. They've been working in the minority community, helping businesses grow. And they're the exact kind of organization that we need to partner with, that this community, this state needs to partner with to continue to grow minority-owned businesses because that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna close wealth gaps. That's how we're gonna close all these disparities that we see across the minority community. And we're gonna do that. So congratulations to you both. If I can do anything for you, you got my car, you call me, I'm there for you, no matter what you need. So thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Start making that money. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Good afternoon, officially. Um, for those that don't know me, my name is Shahara Pearson, co uh, owner of Wreck and Release. Um, I want to thank all the... Uh, all right. Nope. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. negatively um, being African-American women, business owners, mothers, and we wanted to make sure that we brought it to the community and right across from Fayetteville State to let other young women, black women know yeah. that you can do anything that yeah. you put your mind to. In a pandemic, yeah. we're opening up a business and I claim to thrive regardless of what is going on because nice. with the two of us, anything's possible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm the owner of Little Words. So, just gonna introduce myself. My name is Sparkle Bass. Um, and that's pretty much it. She said it all. We want business to thrive. So, come out, continue to support, share um, our post, uh, come out, wreck some rooms. I'm hoping to see every one of you guys in some rooms today. Okay? Yes. Yes. Give a card, share a post, tell a friend. Um, if you don't want to participate now, you can buy a gift card and come back later. So either way, again, we appreciate everybody that traveled near and far, and it's about that time. Look at my oh. We got them now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. Look, man, one more round of applause for Rick and Release. We need it.